Welcome to another episode of Issues and Insights. I'm Bryce Shoemate from Hardin County Government, and today we're going to talk about some things that are going on in the city of Elizabethtown. And my guest today is Matt Deneen. Matt, Thank always you for having a pleasure me. Always to have you on our show. And um, I know that uh, at heart you are a major green space pr uh, person and all about trails all out throughout our great city of Elizabethtown. And, um, you know, I, I always enjoy. Uh, when we get together. Now, usually we're at the Emerald Cathedral, but because of my knee replacement, <laughs> we weren't able to get out there. I'm not able to get out to the Emerald Cathedral as well as I, well, a, as I have been in the past. So I, I've got to apologize to you all because we're in the studio today and we would have loved for green space. Every time we do something with green space, right. we try to be out on one of the trails. So I apologize to you all that we can't get out on the trail. Hopefully next time, Matt, when we do this and we try we'll to do this out, a couple we'll times out in the a woods. year, We'll be out in the woods again. That's right. So. But on behalf of Green Space Board, Bryce, we thank you. You do a wonderful job for our community, and we're so thankful to have you and help us promote our trails Absolutely. and our organization. We're just we're just uh, tickled to be here with you and hope your knee gets better and you can thank get back you. out there soon. Well, when they called me and said that you were going to be on and wanted to know who I would recommend to come take my place, I said, oh, no, I'll be there for oh, that. Oh, thank yeah, you, I'm, thank I'm you. I'm coming in for I that. Ask, I ask, make sure Bryce is, is there <laughs> with us. So we were willing to wait for you to heal up a little bit. Matt, Green Space has got a wonderful program coming up at the State Theater in yes, April. Sir. Talk a little bit about what's going on. That is our Green Space Wild and Scenic Film Festival on April 23rd. It's a Saturday. It's right after Earth Day. So it's kind of an Earth Day celebration for us. We do the Wild and Scenic Film Festival every other year. But this year is uh, very special. This year uh, we have our very own film being featured. Now wait a minute, you've got your very own film. Yes, sir. You all have got a portion of a, the city of Elizabethtown in that this is film. Correct. That is correct. We uh, submitted a, a film uh, sample to the uh, National Touring uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival organization about a year and a half ago. And uh, lo and behold, they picked it up and they have sent it out to approximately 360 cities across the nation, coast to coast. And uh, we've been picked up by several in major cities, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Bridgeport, Connecticut, Ashton, New Jersey. Um, we have been seen in California and um, in Washington State. Now you told and me before we went on, uh, before we went on camera, that they have actually uh, different places have actually invited you to come out sure. to the film festival. Yes, they well, they've given us calls and we've zoomed in and, and we've been able to uh, share our movie and make in Elizabethtown really because this movie is not just uh, highlighting the green space trails here, but it's really highlighting our entire community and the history of green space. And, and the film festival is based on. Conserve. I'm sorry. I'm really messed that word yeah, up. Conservation. Conservation. It's films. almost like it affected my mouth <laughs> instead of my knee here just a minute. But it is based on conservation That's activities right. that are and going on. And outdoor adventure films. So it, you know we have films about mountain biking. Um, sometimes we have films about ki outdoor kayaking um, adventures. Um, we have a great film this year that uh, covers the um, evolution of mountain biking in a small community out west and how they have uh, grown into. Uh, a really a destination for uh, mountain bike races there and it's really a part of their uh, tourism bureau now. So let's talk about what <coughs> your uh, portion of it is. I know you That's told right. me earlier it's like a 12 minute portion. Right, all of these films that we'll be showing are just about 11 films. Um, they're all about maybe three minutes to 16 minutes in length. They all vary. They're all uh, different topics. Some uh, deal with the uh, migration of monarch butterflies. Some deal with uh, mountain biking, some deal with uh, agricultural issues that uh, some farmers are using, no-till and some other things like that, that are environmental friendly. We're, we're blessed to have uh, sponsors uh, from here around here. Um, we've always had a, a great relationship with the Hardin County Soil Conservation District and they've always been great partners with us. But this is the first time the Wild and Scenic Film Festival has actually included a a piece from Elizabethtown. That is correct. This is the first time and um, it's been picked up across the state. We've been in Lexington. Uh, we were in a, a drive-in uh, theater in uh, LaGrange, Kentucky. Um, so uh, we've just been kind of bouncing around the state but across the nation and it gives uh, green space and other communities an opportunity to get to know one another and the feedback that we have received is is that you know we want to start a green space like 
what you have in Elizabethtown in our own community. Isn't that, isn't and, that, and, that makes you feel good, doesn't And it? that is exactly what we were hoping it would do, inspire others to really start locally in what they do. Uh, Green Space is a wonderful organization, and we don't, we're, we're not uh, on a big scale of an environmental club, so to speak, as many people may think. We deal with our local trails in our parks, and we give people a place to go out and maybe walk their dog and spend some time out just in their, right out in their own backyards in their neighborhoods. We have trails all over E-Town. And what a lot of people don't know is this is not something that is done by pe paying people to do this. No, sir. Green space uh, and the trail system throughout the Lisbon town has been put in by volunteers uh, yes, sir. all these years. Since 1974. And that's what this movie, it's titled A Community Conservation Effort, and I couldn't think of a better title that explains Elizabethtown and all of our sponsors through the year and all of the volunteers that have helped make this possible. Um, so th the film just really goes a little bit into where we were at the very beginning in 1974 with uh, Mary and Ed Sprague, our founders, all the way through becoming Kentucky's first urban trail town here in 2019. Um, uh, very, uh, we're very proud of that accomplishment. and. This just tells the story, and we have some real, we have some local folks in the film. We have a lot of our uh, our mayor uh, and some uh, old Green Space folks that uh, have been around Green Space for a while. I can tell you a little bit about the history of Green Space, um, but we have just some different folks in in our community uh, that have participated and put this together. And I can't thank the Sampley Brothers enough. Very talented production company here. Um, they have worked with the bourbon industry on doing commercials all around the world, and they were gracious enough to give us some time to help us put this together. Now, my understanding is you wrote the script for this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you had uh, some partnerships that did some filming for it and so on. You want to talk about who kind of helped you with right. all this? Well, the, Jesse Sampley um, went around with me for a couple of days and uh, did some interviews with uh, people like Dr. Gerard, who's been a long-term uh, supporter of Green Space and member, um, our mayor, uh, the tourism director, and we tried to get a, a, a roundabout feel for the impact of Green Space on our community and some of the businesses that have supported us through the years because I think it's really our trails are really an amenity that help people when, a, when they move here. It helps you with a healthy lifestyle. It helps you have some place to go with your children and go out there and enjoy them. We have something to offer for all ages and abilities. We have some trails that are paved, some are gravel, and a lot of our local high schools run their cross-country events on those trails. And matter of fact, we just landed the state uh, uh, championship mountain bike race, and it will be coming here awesome. this fall. Awesome. And yeah, so I want to give our president, Dave Haynes, all the credit for that. He's done a wonderful job. And there will be over 1,000 mountain bikers from around Kentucky coming to Elizabethtown to stay for a weekend and race out at our trails on Buffalo Lake. And I know you take a lot of pride in a lot of these trails are handicapped accessible. Yes, sir. Well. Yes, sir. We have, you know, it's been a kind of a passion to make sure that our community trails are truly community trails. They have, we have something to offer everybody. And it doesn't matter how old you are, how young, or you, what your ability is. We wanted to have a special place that maybe you could come and visit and some are, are not very long, but some are, and so. Well, you brought a trailer of this film in, and so uh, yes. how about we play that real quick so people, we can give them a little bit of a teaser and see what this film is about. So Absolutely. Uh, let's play that real quick, and we'll come back right after that's over with. All right. Have I got a story to share with you? 46 years in the making. A story that wasn't always popular with a growing community. And the impact of one person's passion for preservation. Like skipping stones, had a ripple effect on an entire community for decades. Let me share with you the story of green space and our trails. Story of community of collaboration, and of conservation. So Matt, we, we saw that, that neat trailer that you we just put up, and how cool is that? Um, that'll be playing at the State Theater? At the State Theater. It's the feature film, so we have a lot of other small films around it, but it will be in session two. Um, our film festival only lasts from six to nine. We'll have a one-hour reception 
um, from there, six to right seven in the reception area, right, right there in the John. West Banco room. Okay, mm -hmm. and there will be lots of booths there. There'll be a cash bar there. Food. There'll be some food. food. Oh, there'll, there'll be, be a little bit yeah. of food. You know that's where it attracts a lot of people. That's right. Well, we will have some finger food, just some small things, you know, there to nibble on and uh, help get you through the uh, festival. But now you told me that was going to be catered. It is. We have a caterer that comes in, and what he does with that is, is he'll put out a lot of snacks and things like that to help you in, while you enjoy the booths and go around and visit. You'll have something to snack on. And, of course, the State Theater always has some great movie snacks as well. There, There'll be plenty of popcorn, I'm sure. And uh, you said that there was a cash bar there as there well? There will be a cash bar there as well, uh -huh. and those proceeds uh, go to help uh, support the State Theater. Awesome. And, uh, and, of course, we're this is one of our largest fundraisers of the year for Green Space, so a lot of the money that we raise here will go towards purchasing trail equipment that helps us maintain our trails, and uh, we'll look to uh, acquire additional land. We'll look to improve some of our trail signage all uh, throughout the community, and we have some wonderful signs brand new signs that are be uh, people will start to see pop up around downtown. Now so. this is truly a fundraiser, this, yes. this film festival for Green Space, and correct. it's $25? That is correct, $25 a ticket, a ticket and uh, that will include the reception, okay. and you can come in and, and, and we'll also have uh, booths from the uh, Elizabethtown Rec uh, Recreation Department there, and we'll also have uh, our Green Space booth there. So. There'll be ways that you can maybe become a member of Green Space if you choose to do so, um, but there's always uh, something interesting there. But your money goes directly and it stays local, and that's the important thing for us. And it runs six to nine on April the twenty third. It's a Saturday night. Okay, from we'll six put that nine. down at the bottom of the screen, yeah, absolutely, there, folks. And if people wanted to get more information about this, they could go to your all's website. Uh, absolutely, as well. you can see the trailer on our website. It's also available there at greenspaceky.com. And folks, we'll put that down at the bottom of the screen too, so that you all can get on your computer at home and and pull that up and and watch that. And kind of give you a teaser. Yeah, that's right. I think come in and see us. Yes, if you're on Facebook or uh, Instagram or Twitter, you'll see it uh, popping up, um, being. Um, promoted throughout social media platforms in the coming weeks as we get closer um, to the event and you may even see a few TV commercials pop up here recently uh, going to you know promote that event as well so, awesome. awesome so we're excited about it and like I said we can't thank the Sampley brothers enough and all those that participated in in the making of the movie um, it was a joy to make, but uh, we're so excited to help promote Elizabethtown and Green Space. And I know you've got some sponsors for this uh, as well that you've we already, do. We, and you've got some that are open still. So if any of y'all are watching out there that's right, right. Now, If there anybody would like to become a sponsor for the uh, film festival, please reach out uh, to our through our Facebook page and reach out to, and uh, just leave us a message. We'll, have, we'll be glad to uh, return your calls and uh, your messages. We'd love to have you come on board as either a community sponsor or supporting sponsor of Green Space. There's several different levels that you can participate on, and we would always uh, welcome uh, individuals, small businesses, and even corporations that so want to get involved. If you had a sponsor, does that also give them the availability to have like a booth? Yes, where they sir. Can absolutely. Show their wares absolutely. As well? If they want to uh, sponsor the event, there are levels that allow you to have a booth inside the West Banco room. And even our title sponsor even gets uh, some stage time where they can come out and say a few words about maybe some of the sustainability efforts that they're doing with their organizations. Awesome. That's so very we're, we're, cool. we're very excited about that. Very cool. Now, will this be an event that you'll have every year or will this be an every other year? This is, we do this every other year. Um, this past year we had our community concert series down in the uh, Emerald Cathedral that but you... Kim and I actually got to come to the Bluegrass one. Yes, yeah, so we were glad to have you. I'm, I'm oh, so glad you made it down there. We, uh, we, there was a group there that was singing that I've actually played and sang with before. Oh, the that, Dixie uh, Flyers. They that, came in yes. from... They, they were actually a last minute... Uh, they were a last minute addition and we were so glad that they agreed to play for us. Uh, we had a cancellation and they came on board, but we try to do something that... They were good. They were very good. And we try to do something as Green Space that promotes our trails, gets people out on the trails, and the Emerald Cathedral is one of those venues, 500-seat amphitheater on the backside of Freeman Lake, that gives uh, our community a reason to come out and, and visit the trails. And hopefully, 
we'll pass out some maps of some of the other 30, over 30 miles of trails in our community that you may not be familiar with. And Matt, that, that concert series was packed. There were a lot of people. In there were. We had a wonderful turnout. We had a lot of support from the community. And, and the, speaking of the Emerald Cathedral, we have our um, local Rotary Club, AM Rotary Club, that has just donated our first pergola for the upper level so that there will be a nice pergola up there. And that's the greatest thing about green space in our community. We have so many wonderful partners with partnerships with other civic organizations, individuals, and businesses that make you know, green space a very special part of our community. And I, I've got to say, Jeff Gregory, the city of Elizabethtown, yes. when we start looking at things where people come out and want to give and give their time and give to make the city uh, a much better place to uh, live and to bring people in yes, sir. as far as activities for people to do and ways to spend their leisure time. That's right. It, it, is, it is just absolutely phenomenal what the city of Elizabeth Town has it's, been able It's to really do. about quality of life and we want you to have something to do, not just to just work here. We want you to live here. That's we want right. you to be here and be and happy enjoy here living and here. enjoy living here and bring your family here. We want something for everybody and, and our Parks and Recreation Department does a wonderful job and, and so does you know, all of the people in Elizabethtown's government, just they work very hard to make sure that people realize this is a very special place to be. Matt, you've got some more activities that are coming up for uh, the trail system that's through Elizabethtown, and hopefully you're looking at extending that trail system that it, uh, from that downtown it, That is correct. Out. I may don't want to take that and no. say anything about it yet because you may be having a, a big announcement No, we, about are, that. we are in the midst of working on it, and it's not uh, finalized yet, but we are working on a project that would um, completely um, circle Elizabethtown with our first Greenbelt Trail all the way around Elizabethtown. We're, we're in the middle of uh, negotiations right now and working on a deal that would bring about our first Rails to Trails project, and that's pretty much the linchpin and the missing link that would tie all of our trails together so that if you truly wanted to start on one end, you could you know, all the way around Elizabethtown, you could hike or bike all the way around. And that's over 30 miles. I don't think I could do that in a day, but some others may. <laughs> may and you be. know what, I, I, you and I have talked about this before. One of the things, a, a nice walk from downtown Elizabethtown out to um, the area where a lot of the motels have located yes. um, along I-65 and out through there. How cool that would be from Buffalo Lake all through there and just make it a an area where you had uh, vendors out there. Absolutely. And selling snack foods. Uh, uh, Brent, maybe a little bourbon out that's there. Right, you know, that's right. We want to support good, local. Get a little, get Brent good to that's bring a little, <laughs> you know, thing out there. Put a little bit of bourbon out there. You know, a lot of our trails lead you right downtown to our downtown restaurants. And the wonderful thing about that is, is all of those downtown restaurants and, and venues have become sponsors of green space in one way or another. And at the night of this event, many of them will be offering specials whether it be for food at our restaurants and even uh, at some of our uh, microbrewery uh, downtown will be offering specials before and after the film festival. Um, so we have some great partnerships and we want uh, folks to not only come to our film festival, but we want them to spend time here in Elizabethtown. We want them to stay in our hotels and spend time in our downtown area and, and visiting some of our shops and some and of our businesses. how cool would it be to have a leisure uh, walk down and, and, and downtown is booming. It's just booming. You know, an interesting note is is that we have a busload of Serenity hikers from Louisville that come down for our film festival every day, every year. They bring over about 40 to 50 hikers, and they're all ages uh, 55 and above, and they all come down and spend the day hiking in Elizabethtown. They go to out to eat at one of our restaurants before the film festival, and then they spend the evening with us at the film festival. And it's just a wonderful group of people that uh, really support the outdoors and outdoor adventure and keep people healthy and active. And it's just wonderful to have them visit with us too. Maybe that's the way I need to break my knee. You know, doing that. <laughs> well, you might. Yeah, Dr. Bean, good has done a, good Dr. Bean has done a phenomenal job getting that's me right. back, uh, get me back to where I can uh, get that knee going again. And uh, uh, Justin at PT uh, way is. Well, I tell you really what, now we do have me. we do have a gator, so if we need to, we'll, you need to get we out. To, we'll put you on that gator. We'll let, <laughs> we'll let Randy uh, Justin Pauly will tell you that he wants me to walk, <laughs> though I, I can tell you. But you know what a what a cool thing it is to think about the 
possibilities that now are not really possibilities. It's come to fruition, and that it's just right. a matter of getting those things finalized, built, and the Wild and Scenic Film Festival is one of the avenues that gives you the funds to be able to do that. Absolutely, and, and we're so blessed to have the city of Elizabethtown supporting Green Space. Uh, Randall Polly, our trail manager, is an employee of the city, and he's keeping our trails maintained for us now, and we're blessed to have him and so many other volunteer organizations, and that's just what makes Green Space, and it always has been. You know, my neighbor, Dr. John Duplessis, I, I see him oh, going out on his wow. gator every so wow. often to he, do quite a bit. Such a great bit. volunteer, and he's done a wonderful job with Freeman Lake Trail. He works on that two or three, four times a week, and uh, if there's an issue out there, he's quick to repair it, and he's just a wonderful uh, member of Green Space and supporter of Green Space, and we're, we're blessed to have him as well. So now I mean, we live at the bottom of the dam, so now once I can get up that dam to get on the trail system, That's we're looking right. forward to being on there this sure, summer. Sure, absolutely, and I think that trail out there just keeps getting better and better, and we see more and more people out there all the time, and as our community grows, Freeman Lake is really the, the heart of our city, and, and then people come out there to recreate and enjoy themselves with we, their families. We love being able to step out the front door and listen to people enjoying themselves on that trail system. Yes, sir. Uh, we get to hear people, you know, little kids and laughing and enjoying it. And that's it just, right. It's it what makes it special. Heart it does. To know that it that does. system is, has come so far in the last few years. It, it's amazing uh, from the very uh, humble beginnings of uh, and the vision of Mary Sprague and her husband where we are today. Um, it's really far exceeded, I think, even their expectations. And you had, uh, what, this fall, um, the last uh, bridge go in yes, over there our, behind our, uh, Gene we worked on the, house. Yes, we worked on the Bridges to Nature project for a couple of years, and we just had our last uh, bridge on that project added. So that has three concrete, steel-framed, um, ADA-compliant bridges added out there to Freeman Lake that helps people come from our na Veterans Nature Park and and uh, really our school age children that can uh, go on a field trip out there. So, you know, having it ADA compliant out there and working on those things and making our trail accessible is, is uh, very uh, rewarding, but it's something that offers something for everybody in our community. So we're yeah, very proud of that. Absolutely. Let's give one last plug to our Wild and Scenic Film Festival. Sure. And of course, we've got a sign that we, yep. you see me turn around looking, I'm looking up at the sign to make sure I'm saying it right. That is correct. Uh, uh, the Wild and Scenic Film Festival again is April twenty third, six to nine it's p.m. At State Theater, mm -hmm. six to nine, twenty five dollars a ticket. You can buy your ticket in advance at greenspaceky.com, or you can buy them at the box office. But I would encourage people to buy them early and go to the website and buy them online because I believe we'll have a sellout. I, I hope you do. I hope you do. Any last thing we want to talk about with Green Space because we've got a couple more minutes. Uh, sure, I, I was always want to uh, thank some of our our school age uh, volunteers. We have uh, some organizations, student organizations that come out from lacrosse teams to cross country teams to Y clubs and beta club members. Um, Green Space has always done a wonderful job of reaching out and partnering with those student organizations and some of those people have been long-term members of Green Space. As they grow older they have become uh, uh, long, long life members and and then our Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts that come out there and do a wonderful job cleaning up our trails. We're just and doing very, a lot of service projects. We're just there. yeah, they build small bridges for us and they put in birdhouses. They do a lot of things that just uh, are just amazing. But our partnership with city and county government, um, I can't thank our, our 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 jail work crew enough who helped build the Emerald Cathedral, but. Anytime we've needed something, the county and city government have been right there to support us. Hadn't Big Josh been phenomenal? To He's done a wonderful job helping us with green space. Uh, Our we're very county jailer. Yeah, we're thankful for that. And you know, but we have a lot of other folks that just come on board, and you just have to make a phone call and say, "Hey, we need a little bit of help." And boy, it just pours in, and that says a lot about the kind of community we live in. We're very generous and very supportive of a lot of civic organizations, not just green space. I love looking out the back window of county government and seeing a lot of our employees, you know, when they're on break or at lunch, go down that trail that goes to the back side of uh, the county government building. The cool thing is you've got, you know, folks, if you all wanted to come out and park your car, um, you've got plenty of parking there and can yes. go and enjoy those trails. Same thing right there at the uh, ponds of... Uh, Freeman Lake to be able to park your car and go and walk there. We have trails right up to the sports park. We have a lot of our visitors from out of town use the Billy Creek Trail. 
So uh, we, we just want to appreciate and thank all the people that have so much to do with construction of those trails, maintenance of those trails, because those trails don't stay nice and clean and weed free by themselves. No, but you know, our, our, our movie title says it all, a community conservation effort. And that's what it truly is. And this, this film is really a um, highlight uh, for them and it, it really highlights their involvement. And we hope, to, uh, we hope that it brings a, a lot of joy to our older members that, that maybe are not as active as they once were to see this come to fruition. And it makes it nice too now with these new bridges and the widening that uh, fire department and EMS can get our ATVs down there in case somebody gets hurt on the trail. We're not telling you get hurt on the trail. No, in case somebody does, absolutely. we're able to respond very quickly. You, you uh, never know the, the, inv the, the role that your trails have and the impact on the different organizations. But, you know, that was one of the joys of the uh, EMS and, and fire training and police training. Even our police department has an electric mountain bike patrol that goes out and keeps our trails safe now. That would have not have been heard of 10 years ago. Sure. And so here we are, we have mountain bike patrols that go out and keep our, our, our folks safe on the trails and, and just make sure that our community members that are using those uh, feel comfortable and, and enjoy themselves out there as it's meant to be. And it's great that Mark Malone, our fire chief here in Elizabethtown, his guys there at Station 3 have got... Uh, have got an ATV that they can respond Absolutely. very quickly across the street there. So not only are you are the are the trails very safe, mm -hmm. uh, but it you know we have the capabilities to come out and help those that uh, may need help uh, if they get hurt on the trail. And and it's all all those areas are very accessible from cell phone usage. So if you yes, need help exactly. There, and if you need a map of all the trails, the best place to get one is out there at the uh, Tourism Bureau and Convention Bureau there on, on Mulberry Street. They have a wonderful job there of, of all of the maps and different trails of green space. So stop by there and see them. And I think Janet Clark will help you out. Absolutely. Matt, our time always goes by fast. So it does. It it. Sure does. Always, a, always a pleasure. Bryce. Absolutely. Always. Stay tuned to Hardin County Education and Community TV as we keep you informed on what's going on in this great community that we call Hardin County. We thank Matt Deneen and all the folks at Green Space and all that they do to encircle our city with such a wonderful trail system that you can come out and enjoy. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe. Remember, lots of folks are out walking and riding bicycles as the days get warmer. Be safe, be careful, stay safe, and stay alert. I'm Bryce Shumate from Hardin County Government. Thanks for joining us, and we'll keep you up to date on what's going on throughout this beautiful county. Hi, I'm Matt Deneen. I'm the Special Events Coordinator with Green Space Incorporated here in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I want to welcome you to our film, A Community Conservation Effort. This film details the beginning of Green Space in 1974, from a vision of Mary Sprague to where we are today, 46 years later, to becoming Kentucky's first urban trail town with over 30 miles of community trails. Our film details the importance of working with others throughout the community in that collaborative effort for conservation. We hope you enjoy the film and we hope this film inspires you to begin your own conservation efforts in your own community because that is where it begins. It begins locally. And then from there, we hope you inspire others regionally and statewide and across our nation. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for being a partner in preservation.